What's up, everybody? This is Benja Well Done coming at you live on this beautiful Corona free day. Today is Saturday, Saturday, June the 11th at 6 39 in the afternoon. How are you doing? So, the dark edition, part two. What does that mean? Well, pretty much just means that I'm away from my cell phone. I'm recording this on the laptop, and I'm going to be uploading it on YouTube with an all-blacked-out screen. So, how to bounce back from adversity? With a fucking vengeance. You see, in life, when you try something, you always have two options. You could succeed, you win, and everything is done. Mission's over. You could potentially not succeed, and hopefully learn a lesson. Come back stronger, dominate. Now you're winning again. But in all reality, there's actually a third option before you get to those two conclusions. And it's trying. You first need to try. Because you lose 100% of the battles that you don't fight. So how do you first start off by winning? You fight. You fight to win. And how do you bounce back from adversity? With a fucking vengeance. Something to prove. Because that's my mindset. I'm already at the goal line. I just had to bring my body to where my mind is. And all my thoughts and all my work ethic and desires are working to lead it. So here's the thing. About two years ago, I had a huge opportunity to do a comedy show. And it meant the world to me. And then Corona happened. And the first weekend of closures was the weekend I was supposed to do this comedy show. It was going to springboard my video, my promotional opportunity to promote myself, and more. Well, fast forward to about two years later, I got the amazing opportunity to come out to Little Rock, Arkansas again this weekend, tomorrow, on Sunday, June the 12th. And uh, I got corona. So... I no longer am going to be making that opportunity the second time in a row. And it kills me so much because I need this. And I need a video of me showing my comedy so that I can promote myself to other clubs and start to climb up this ladder. And I hate more than anything else that again, for the second time in a row, I'm not getting it. But you know what else? I'm also looking forward more now than fucking ever to my next time when I go there, whenever that may be. And I look at every single opportunity for every single thing that I do as the last opportunity. That's why I put more than 100% out of all effort in every single thing that I do and I leave nothing behind. That's the only way I can be. Because every opportunity you can take is an opportunity you can win. And when you fight for an opportunity, you fight harder to win it. I had literally told something that's like the number one thing more than I hate than anything else in the world. Not getting an opportunity. You see, winning is great. Not winning, well that's not great, but it's something. But not getting an opportunity to try... That's part of the fuel, part of the fuel to my fire that helps motivate me, pushes me to be harder and better than everyone else, not just in comedy, but in jujitsu. If and when you think differently, you act differently. You think differently, you get different results than everybody else that thinks the exact way. And tapping into that negative space not negative as in the emotion, but negative as in like that creative aspect that no one else is thinking of. That's one of the biggest challenges, always coming up with something original. And I'm in love with that process. The process of being original, being creative, being new, not just in comedy, but again, in jujitsu. You see, a lot of times in life, if you do something that you're passionate about, it works out even better if you have an art to balance it out with. Mine is jujitsu. If you have something you're passionate about, Find another art to balance it out with, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it'll help the other.
Again, mine is jujitsu, and it's problem solving at its finest. And I bounce from one to the other, comedy and jujitsu, back and forth, and each one makes me better with the other. So in long and in short, how do you beat diversity? You fight it. And you fight it stronger than you first tried. Because you might not get another opportunity. And maybe that opportunity is going to be your last. So fight. I'm Benja Well Done. Check me out. Peace.